How's it going guys? This is Holly with Grindworks and it is April Fool's Day. Maybe one of my favorite days of the entire year because I actually have an excuse to be a little less serious for once. So I thought it only appropriate on such a day as this to talk about the knives that we all joke about anyways, right? These are gas station knives. So I know you all remember that like back in the day you saw those little cheap plastic rotating displays of knives at a gas station and you drooled over the the dragons and the flames and the skulls and crossbones and whatever else they had on them. It's okay, we've all been there. It was before you knew better. But if we're being completely honest, you know better now. And there's still an appeal to knives like these. Maybe it's the nostalgia. Maybe it's that little rebellious part of you that like doesn't want to be told what to like and what you should want in a knife. So I guess here's to all the rebels. I rebel. First up, we're going to look at this Boker Magnum Rainbow 3 folder. It's got an overall length of 6.125 inches. That blade is 2.625 inches. This blade is 440A steel. It's clip point, hollow grind, and that gorgeous spectrum finish that we all love. It's only 1.8 ounces. So this is one of those that I, you know, the spectacular rainbow finish aside, it could actually make a pretty practical EDC because it's super slim, super lightweight. It's gonna fit in your pocket really well. That's a tip down carry clip, by the way. And it's surprisingly sharp. So you know what? Who cares what people think? Throw that in your pocket, carry it around. Open your packages with it. That runs about right around 20 bucks on the site right now. Next up, we have this United Cutlery Tailwind Nova Skull Black Spring Assisted Knife. Can somebody please explain to me why the gas station knives always have the longest, most complicated names? So this one, we've got this awesome flaming skull thing going on. It's very like sort of hot rod biker gang-ish, or at least that's what it makes me think of. I don't know anything about biker gangs, so, you know, no offense. Spring Assisted, overall length of 7.25 inches. That's a 3.125 inch blade, 440 steel, clip point, hollow grind, and that nice black finish. This handle is nylon, which is not a material I, I see very often on knives. I actually really like it. The grain of the nylon kind of goes perpendicular to your thumb. So even though it's nice and smooth and it has a really nice looking finish to it, it's actually got some nice grip to it. This one's pretty comfortable in hand too. You know, never underestimate the gas station knives. Sometimes they can end up being your favorite ones. I feel like I would really enjoy using this. Yeah, it's definitely a great fit. 4.21 ounces and right around 20 bucks. Now the next one you don't actually see here because when I put it on the table, it was taking up entirely too much space. Would it be an appropriate gas station knives video if it didn't have something from Z Hunter in it? I think not. I think not! This is the Master Cutlery Z Hunter Zombie Defense Knuckle Axe. And it has the best product description I've read in a long time. Are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. Not good with a crossbow? Don't own a katana? Maybe this is the survival solution you've been looking for. The Knuckle Axe gives you two different grip options. The paracord wrapped handle or the four finger knuckle grip at the axe head. Either way, zombies don't stand a chance with you. Made of solid, heavy-duty stainless steel with a black coating, this weapon of mass zombie destruction weighs just over a pound and measures 11 inches tall by 5.625 inches wide. It comes with a black nylon axe head sheath that snaps in place to protect your weapon until needed. Don't be caught short when the undead come calling. You know, they forgot to mention one thing. When you're not killing zombies, this is great for, I don't know, chopping onions? Yeah, something like that. I thought that was way too good to pass up. This is also right around 20 bucks. I also wondered whether it might be redundant to include another knife that has a spectrum finish, and then I thought, Holly, what are you talking about? You can never have too many spectrum knives. So here we have another one from Boker. This is the Boker Magnum Chained Rainbow Spring Assisted Knife. This one is right around $30 on the site at the moment. 
It's got an overall length of 8 inches with a 3.375 inch blade. 440A steel, this is a standard blade type, you know, just the basic blade. Hollow grind, and of course, need I say, that is a spectrum finish. Stainless steel handle, 6.16 ounces, so a little heftier compared to the others. You've got your pocket clip. There is something about the chain and like these sort of rune-like symbols. I don't know what is supposed to be going on here. I would really like to, like to I would really like to talk to the designers over there at Boker. They come up with some of the most fantastical stuff. It's so much fun. And last but not least, we have the 1918 Black OTF Knuckle Knife. Check this thing out. Okay, everything else aside, you know, you know, ignore the fact that it's got these amazing sort of retro style pointed knuckles on the handle. Look at the size of this handle and watch the blade that comes out. Is it just me or could that blade have been longer? I'm not sure, but it made me giggle a little bit when I picked this thing up and I was like, whoa, that's a big knife. And the blade wasn't exactly as long as I was expecting which if I'm being honest, makes it that much better for me. It is nine and a quarter inches overall. That's a three and a half inch blade. Nice two-tone dagger. That's an aluminum handle and it's just under nine ounces. So a whole half a pound right there. Oh, and don't forget the glass breaker. Very, very important. JB had this to say about this knife. Just arrived, seems to work perfectly. Finger holes are roomy, which is good. Blade is pretty sharp. With this thing in hand, you could easily open a box or envelope or hold off a small army. Yep, pretty much. So those are my picks for gas station knives this April Fool's Day. And now it's time to fess up, you guys. Which of your beloved knives in your collection that you just dearly adore are you embarrassed to show to your friends? You know, and we've all got one. We've all got one in that collection that we bought when we were like, I don't know, 13, 14, and we thought it was the coolest thing on the planet. And now we're like, maybe I'll put that one in the back of the drawer. Yet you pull it out and you use it all the time. So fess up, tell me your gas station knife story. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when a new video drops. This was an especially fun video to make, guys and I'm really glad that you joined to watch. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.